a big hello and welcome from python code buddy uh, this is our first tutorial on python and the topic of our tutorial is python pandas tutorial and we will be uh, getting started with uh, pandas data frame pandas as we all know is a very cute uh, bear which is uh, originated from south of china and as you can see in the picture we have shown you a picture of panda but in python pandas are a basic bedrock or a fundamental uh, library which is used for uh, big data and doing lot of data analytics project here we will cover the workflow for this uh, pandas tutorial like first we will see what are pandas and why learn pandas at all what are the various you know specific inbuilt advantages of the pandas library then we will give you a brief introduction on google collab which is the specific python cloud based python ide which we will use in this tutorial then we will see how to load the pandas library and we will give you a brief introduction to the data frame and we will see how to work with the data frame and then lastly we will show you a sample data frame coding and lastly we will have a recap okay now what is pandas now pandas was created by us mckinney in 2008 as part of the pandas project now pandas is an open source python library used for working with data sets analyzing big data and making conclusion based on statistical models the name pandas has a reference to both panel data and python data analysis now pandas uh, is the ideal tool for data scientist as it excels in the following like munging and cleaning the data then analyzing and modeling the data and lastly organizing the results of the data analysis into a form suitable for plotting or tabular display so this in short are you know the uh, crux of what the pandas are and how they are important from a data scientist toolbox perspectives for python okay few things uh, which pandas does very well firstly uh, they do very easy handling of missing data now by missing data we mean like sometimes in a big data set there are certain data which is not there like that missing value is represented as nan now that you can say is a null uh, null data field or due to some mistake in data gathering that data was not there so you have a provision of representing that as nan then there is size mutability that is columns can be inserted and deleted from a pandas data frame very easily like as you go further you will see that all pandas data frame are a uh, you, you can say a rows and columns matrix and the data is stored in form of columns which are also called series and those columns can be you know easily be inserted or like a 2 into 3 uh, kind of made into set 3 uh, into 3 and a extra column can be deleted very easily from the data set and then you have automatic and explicit data alignment like objects can be explicitly aligned to a set of labels this is also important uh, when doing various uh, you know analysis and operation with uh, data table which we will see in this tutorial and other other tutorials when we go forward in this subject and then there is intelligent label based slicing then indexing and subsetting of large data sets and then you have intuitive merging and joining of data sets then hierarchical labeling of access to its possible to have multiple labels per tick and then robust input output tools for loading data from flat files like csv files and other delimited files excel files etc so this i would like to highlight is a very you know important characteristics or important facility which is provided by the panda library because it gives you interoperability between various systems like you have a big database in the form of a csv file or you have a database in form of an excel file which can easily be you know loaded into a panda 
data flip and you can work on that subsequently so you don't have to you know reinvent the wheel or you don't have to do the data you know uh, data typing and all that which is a very laborious process and then lastly is like time series specific functionality like date train generation frequency conversion moving window statistics dead shifting etc uh, this specifically you know becomes important when we are uh, using pandas for doing various kind of econometric analysis like when we are using python for doing a prediction of say time series data time series data can be in the form of say stock market data in the form of weather data and various other data and this becomes a very important uh, tool which pandas provide which is one of the you know basic uh, uh, functionality of any uh, big data or data analytics package now i will introduce you uh, to the ide which we will uh, like integrated development develop uh, environment which we will use for our you know uh, python tutorials like there are various uh, ides which are available uh, in the market like you have anaconda then you have jupiter then you have pycharm etc etc but i choose google uh, collab which is the how short form of google collaboratory uh, firstly because of two three reasons first of all it is uh, based it is fully based out of cloud so uh, all i need is just a google uh, uh, email id i can log into that and then i can launch the google collab on the fly so i can do it in any uh, google compatible device like whether it's a laptop tab or even a mobile and i can do uh, programming on the fly whereas as compared to other id like anaconda and others there are a lot of dependencies which google collab doesn't have and and it as it is a cloud based uh, platform so it makes things very simple and lot of libraries and packages are already installed and you don't have to run pip install again and again so now uh, i want to highlight that once you type you can just go into google into google and type google collab and then you will get this as a first page and then first you, what you want to see is that you go to file you will press the file and then it will uh, the next thing will open and this is a typical uh, collab workspace see this is the name of the file which i have given so untitled zero and you can you know start typing from here and like i have just written the first thing like import pandas as pd and after you type if you press this button so basically the line will run it is very similar to jupiter id but it's running on cloud so like the most important thing you need to do to do any operation or any analysis on the pandas library is to load the pandas package and first of all in order to load it you will have to import the package and the python community has agreed the alias for pandas as pd and for when you are loading pandas pd is assumed as a standard practice and the code for loading is, is very simple it's like import pandas as pd and as i told you in the last slide that when you work in google collab cloud based platform pandas library is already installed and then you can directly import it without installing it earlier using the pip install command okay now we come uh, to the fundamental pandas object which is called a data frame now a data frame is a two dimensional data structure that can store data of different types in columns so now if if you just see this part this is a data frame and it's a two dimensional structure so hence it has got columns here as you can see and it has got rows and and it is very similar to a spreadsheet like excel spreadsheets which we are all familiar with the pandas represent data as a table with columns and rows and each column in a data frame is a series like this is one column which you see and if you just split that you get that series now this is the indexing part which is there which is common to all the columns and data types can include like characters integers floating point values categorical data etc 
and it is very similar to a, a spreadsheet which I told you earlier. Now, one uh, specific example like uh, of a data frame, what we have here is that, say we have like, uh, we are doing a data frame for three students of a class. So here, this is the data frame object, which you saw earlier. There are like rows and columns. And then we are having three columns here. It's like one column for name, one column for age, and one column for sex. And then you are saying the name is in the form of the data type is characters, and age is in the form of integers, and sex is in form of male or female data. And if I have to program it, first what will be the steps like first i have to import the pandas library then i will have to create an instance of that by pandas data frame df and then i have to populate the df with name age and sex column yeah so now i will show you the basic construct for creating a pandas data frame first this is the df and this which is the pd which is the allies for a pandas object and dot data frame uh, then open parenthesis. This is the uh, you know function uh, construct for creating that and then uh, with that you can see the curly opening of the curly brackets and then what we are doing we are having a column one name uh, in uh, par uh, in you know the quotations and then you have a column and then you have a colon and then you are seeing this column one entry one and then similarly and then you have column two name and then you are doing column two entry one. So this is a basic construct. Now in the next slide, you will see how the code looks like. This I have done in Google Colab. Uh, you see, first we have done import pandas as pd, and then you are doing df. You are creating instance of the pd object df equal to pd dot data frame, and then you are populating the data frame with three columns, like which I mentioned earlier, like name, age, and sex. Like name we have done like Tom, John and Jenny and then age you are seeing 2021, 20, 22 and sex is MMF. And after that uh, we are closing in this parenthesis you see basically the data frame is created and then we are writing DF. And once after that when we press this arrow button then the program is executed and you see the output this is the output of uh, this uh, code snippet so basically this is showing that data frame uh, you know the components of the data frame like name age and sex and you can see this 0 1 2 are the index so again just another you know further analyzing the thing you, as i told you see this data frame can be split into three columns or you can also call this column as three series like series one is like column one which is for the name which is having tom john and jenny series two is for age or the column two uh, which is having the age data and the series three is for the sex which is having the sex data and this is the index which is like one two and three now when selecting a column of a pandas data frame the result is a pandas series so out of this is basically there are three series in this one particular data frame to you to particular to select the column you have to use the column level in between the square brackets so uh, when we again revise this first of all you have to import the package and also known as importing pandas as pd which we saw earlier and then a table or data is stored as pandas data frame which is basically a two-dimensional object having rows and columns and then each column in a data frame is called a series and you can do various things by applying a method to a data frame or series which we will cover in our subsequent tutorial videos a very brief uh, section on references is given uh, especially this is on the main pandas uh, pandas.pydata.org site uh, which will help as a starting reference for all of you lastly this was my first effort to you know give you some basic very basic introduction on the pandas project and pandas data frame object and i will be covering the various other nitty gritty and other advanced topics of the pandas library as we go forward uh, request you to support my channel python code body by 
liking and subscribing in the YouTube channel. Thank you.